here is just the Achilles tape job for hyper dorsiflexion. <coughs> all right. Um, and again, um, uh, anecdotally, we don't use this as much for Achilles tendinopathy because again, it, it's affecting the chain a lot of time. And remember, what we talked about in class if uh, we get that hyper pronation, okay, out right here, and say we're getting that eversion, we're we're stressing the medial part of the, the Achilles tendon, and that's what gets it. And there's no tape job to to restrict pronation supination, all right? Um, if you get a lot of stretch here and that, that hurts on the Achilles tendon, uh, then a lot of times they're not functional enough to uh, practice. They can't jump up, they can't, you know, they don't, they can't eccentrically land, okay? So, but if, it, if it's pretty minor, they got some pain here and dorsiflexion is a bit painful, then we can try this, all right? And other times when it is Achilles tendinopathies where it is from a biomechanical issue from pronation supination. This tape job won't really help per se, but again, we'll, we'll do it sometimes when it's pretty minor, um, depending on the athlete, if uh, you know it's gonna be a pretty good brain massage for them, all right? The placebo effect does, does help sometimes, all right? Power the mind, okay? So, okay, so just to start this off, pretty much it's gonna be an anchor, anchor with elastic tape. And then we'll make our fan here and then close off. That's pretty much all, all the Achilles tape job is. All right. So what you do here is you can grab uh, on the muscle belly with the elastic tape, grab your fans. And I'm going to show you exactly how it is in, in your, in your um, manual, all right, which is about half. It's only a half paragraph. So once you come out here and you make your, uh, you make your anchors, it's just, like, it's just with elastic tape. And it's similar to when we do the zinc oxide. All right, but since we're going around the calf belly, it has to be elastic tape, okay? And with the elastic tape, if we, di we don't do it with zinc oxide because it doesn't have give, all right? The, it doesn't expand from the contraction of the calf, all right? So what we have here with the elastic tape, you'll see how there's wrinkles, and then I stretch it, then it straightens out. We want to see those wrinkles because you're just using this as, you're just using this as a, um, an anchor, all right? <coughs> So up here, coming over here, not much tension. You see those are the wrinkles. I don't want to see it like that because then that can constrict the calf or be uncomfortable for the athlete. All right, so just put it on just so you have, doesn't have to restrict anything. All it is is, is making an attachment for uh, the fan. Okay, so we have our three here overlapped by half and we like to say wrinkles, okay? All right, so you can grab the, um, the Elasticon tape, <coughs> this is terrible tape, all right, because we are able to tear it, and this one's really strong, the Elasticon, non-terrible, all right? Okay, so um, actually before I go a little ahead, ahead of myself, grab your forefoot anchor, okay, going around the styloid again, and it's not too as important as the ankle because we got wrinkles here and it's gonna allow splayage anyways, all right? So on these anchors, we wanna see the wrinkles the phrase of, of the elastic tape, okay? So here, you grab your elasticon tape, okay? Measure it, and again, just a little tip, you can put it backwards here, the non-sticky side, and then measure it out, because if you do here, it can get caught and frustrating, okay? And grab just a little bit slack, maybe an inch or two more slack, okay? Cut it with your scissors, okay? Because again, it's non-terrible. Okay. And then you see the little uh, orange line, the center line here, okay, that's just a little landmark for the top, for the calf flare. Just make a little slit down the middle, and then you can tear about widthwise, just around three to four inches, okay. Come up on behind. Okay. And then just at the bottom of the calf flare, which is right around here, make that the edge of the, of the width where you tear it, okay, right at the fork, fork of the road, come up on both sides, and so just make it a little bit longer. Come out, bottom of the calf flare, bring this up, bring this up here, okay. Oh, shoot, so I got these here. Um, we wind once again, I apologize. Uh, we wind, so we haven't put the tape on, on, and just put a heel and lace pad here, all right, with, um, with the lube here, okay? Because then we can come out here, all right? 
because then this tape, once it comes, once we're done it, the tape can rub against the Achilles. So then what we do is we put the, the heel mace pads just to stop that rubbing, that friction. Okay, so then fast forward, anchor, anchor, and then we've made our first strip. Okay, um, just for the next couple labs, this is the only one we have so far. I'm just going to show you the rest of the tape job just with the terrible tape. All right, okay, three inch elastic. Okay, tough to tear, even though it's ter terrible this way, um, very tough to tear this way. So again, make your slit with a pair of scissors. Okay, come up, out like this. I didn't measure it out. Okay. Uh, and just repeat this three times. So come out, straighten this out because we want some restriction so you can take the wrinkles out. Okay, I want some elasticity on that. Here and if this happens, keep this on here, and then later when the tape job's done, I'm just going to cut it with scissors. So again, it's always good to go overshoot it too much because then you can just cut it off. You don't want to make it too short. Okay. So make the third one. Okay. Grab our slit. Go to the bottom of the calf flare and just reapply. Like. Yoink, okay, you can make it a bit longer if you want. Come over here, tear it up. Okay, so here I'm getting um, just lucky with the stickiness of the tape. See how it's wanting to curl off here? You guys see that? Okay, um, if you want to, and just, just, just more for a time constraint, if you want every single one that you put on, if you want to re anchor it, just to. Um, with uh, elastic or zinc oxide, that's fine. All right, if you want to do each one, because sometimes it can curl off. But if you just rub it up tight, then sometimes you don't have to, okay? So here, we'll just grab our uh, two inch elastic tape, okay? As it says in the text in the lab manual, then it's just closing off, okay, each successive one, okay? I like to close off, okay, one end, okay? And one of the reasons why I don't apply, like it says in the, in the manual, how it says like you put the first one and then anchor it, put the second one, re-anchor, is I like to put none on here, okay? So it's uh, pretty restrictive here, okay? And I can fold it in half, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> fold it in half right here. All right, and then you can ask the athlete, if here's your fail safe, is it too tight to loose? A lot of times they'll say that's okay. If uh, she says it's a bit too loose, what you can do, since we didn't anchor it all the time, then we can grab it all together, make it a bit tighter, or make it a bit looser. All right, and then retest it. And then come up, retest and doish deflection, and say, yeah, that's out of the painful range. That's good. All right, so that's why I, I, I don't like to anchor it here, because then you have that fail safe. Okay, then you can, excuse me, set. Then you can just uh, close off the bottom once um, the athlete said it was okay. Okay, and just as it says in the, in the textbook, just close off, okay, using singles. Okay, coming up. Okay, and just to cover here, it's a bit more support. It's not in the manual, but your figure eight's fine. Okay, and once you've done that, again, with, uh, again, the principle of you always cover the tape ends of elastic tape with zinc oxide, so then just cover it up, okay, just like this. And then that is your Achilles tape job. So again, um, not very useful. Um, you go on, you become a student trainer, come therapist, and you work with teams, um, you will very rarely uh, use this. But again, we test it, we gotta give you something to test, if you can do this, it just it gives you more tools in the toolbox with your taping skills. All right, not the most useful tape job, but by do, being able to do it, practicing it again, just more tools in the toolbox. Okay. So any questions with this? Okay. So anchor, anchor, fan. All right. Check it and then close it off. Easy peasy. All right. So you took off the heel pads. No, you can keep it on in there. It's tucked in there somewhere.
Okay. You took, you took it off, but should we yeah. leave it in? Yeah. Oh, you should leave it in. Did I take it off just yeah. for... Okay, yeah. So it should have stayed in there, yeah. Okay, because then we don't want too much rubbing there. All right. Um, so that's the Achilles tape job. There's one um, for this lab, I think the hyperextension. Okay, so that's not testable. So take that off. Um, and it's just a fan, fan, uh, anchor, anchor with a fan on the back to prevent hyperextension. If you got to prevent hyperextension and injury because hyperextensions hurt, they're probably not clear to play functionally. All right, and it's a brutal tape job. Doesn't really do much. All right, and so we take it out. All right, Barry took it out last year as well. Yeah, yeah. All right. So show you one thing. This is an FYI. Um, you don't mind if we use your whole knee here. Okay, so here's a tape job that kind of like, again, with X's, and it's almost like we're cre creating like lateral medial hinges. Okay, can you get your stand up? This is, yeah. So this is then, um, so my hands go higher. Go higher. You want to use your knee? You're wearing shorts. Is that okay? Okay, so a lot of times um, we get uh, very, very minor um, MCL, ACL sprains, like, they come up, they just got nicked here, and this is during a game, this has happened many times, and um, they come off, uh, they're a little bit, you know, in pain, a little bit in that shock, we take a look, and like, it's strong, strong as hell, you know, let's try it, and they, they calm down a bit, and they get into a squat, we'll do our functional test, and they're like, yeah, Dave, I think it could go in. And so we put them in, and we'll do this collateral tape job. What we use it mostly is this, um, we get a lot of guys on the football team, especially this year, just get a lot of banging, all right, just from the contact, and they flare up their bursa, all right, whatever the bursa is, pre-patella, super patella, but it just flares it up just from the contact. And so what we do is we do this tape job just to, uh, it pretty much adds a bit of support, but it just adds that compression. We can get neoprene sleeves. Um, never even gave it the option to the guys this year. It, it, it's very uncomfortable. Neoprene sleeves, thick, sweaty. Um, they slide up and down where the tape just stays there. And so we just do this tape job. I get to stand up. And all is it what we're doing is just uh, again remember where the X goes. My slide is a little bit. Let's scooch up. Where the X's go, it's gonna limit that range of motion. Like again for wrist, if the X's go here and you move away from it, it's gonna resist wrist extension. Where the X's go here, where you move away from it, so this is gonna limit var varus, and the medial X's will limit valgus. Okay? So all we do here is again, spray it, okay? We can put uh, Pro Wrap on, all right? Just because it's, it's, it won't slide down anyways and it's just for compression mainly, all right? So we put the uh, heel, heel and lace pad here. Um, you want Pro Wrap? Does it matter? Yeah. yeah, we'll put Pro Wrap on, all right? So you spray it pretty good. You put the Pro Wrap on. Actually, no, it sticks, it slides off. Okay. It sticks on better with uh, when you put the tough skin on, but we won't put tough skin on, okay? So again, you can go on the skin or on um, on the pro app. And all you do is you make your anchors just like this, come around one time, you see how we got wrinkles? And then once I come on this side for the first part of the lateral X, I'm gonna stretch it out a bit. Okay, put it right here, and then you guys can see on this side, you see how we, we're back to wrinkles, back to wrinkles, come back up one whole time around. Whoopsies, all right? And then just stretch that, so there's our X right there. Come around, okay, wrinkles, come down the medial side for our first X, okay, out right there. And usually with uh, one roll of tape, we can get, try for two on each side, all right? And try and overlap just to kind of cover the windows. You will get shadows, all right? But I like to uh, cover the windows, come out here, and then we made it, all right? It's a bit sloppy, it becomes like a good like diamond shape here. I got sloppy here. All right, but you can see how we make the X's here just by going around, anchor down, anchor down, just create the X's. No rhyme or reason, like no specific rhyme or reason. It just uh, go around and then make your X's medially and laterally. All right, this adds some support here. All right, it's not going to restrict anything like a hinge brace, but it gives some support and again offers that um, that compression here. All right, a little bit more more direct compression here with the strips that we do with the X's, all right? And a lot of our, our football guys here would get the bursitis from tackling. Um, this, this really helps them out, okay? So again, more of an FRI, not tested or anything, but 
again, if you ever need it down the road, easy, easy, quick tape job. Okay? Alrighty? Um, perfect.